In an earlier video I posted about 3D printing my first Wargaming miniatures. I started with an M577 command track and an M548 cargo carrier. I asked my viewers to decide what I should print next. Voting was via an online poll. The options were the EM-50 urban assault vehicle, a Soviet anti-tank dog, an Australian M113AS4 APC, a Bushmaster PMV, or the Bob Semple tank. Clearly Bob Semple was the winner, by a wide margin. So let's take a look at 3D printing Bob Semple on my Anycubic Photon Mono. So the Bob Semple tank won the viewer poll for what I should 3D print next by a handy margin. At 42% it had more than double the votes of the next nearest choice, the Bushmaster PMV. I thought the M113AS4 or the Bushmaster would win, but the people have spoken and I will obey. If you don't know what the Bob Semple tank is, it's an expedient tank design developed in New Zealand in 1941. The outbreak of World War II found New Zealand without any modern tanks for self-defence, and no industry capable of producing any. Britain was still rearming after Dunkirk, and the US had no spare capacity either. The only short-term option was to modify an existing vehicle. The Caterpillar D8 tractor was available, and Bob Semple, New Zealand's Minister of Works, was tasked with turning these into weapons of war. An armoured superstructure was designed, based on a similar US design supplied to Afghanistan. There were no blueprints available. The New Zealand design was based on a picture postcard of the earlier US vehicle. The result was boxy and clunky, with a very high centre of gravity. Armament was six 303 calibre Bren light machine guns. These are mounted in armoured barbettes fixed to the hull. Two faced forward, one on either side, and one in the rear. The last gun was mounted in the fully rotating turret. The intention was to have a 37mm gun in the turret, but none were available. The superstructure was removable, so the tractors could keep working as farming or construction vehicles but could be converted for war in a few hours. Crew comfort was not great. One of the forward Bren gunners had to lay on a mattress laid over the engine to man his weapon. Despite the corrugated iron look of the armour, it was fabricated from manganese steel angle iron, giving about half an inch of armour. This was enough for Bob Semple to resist small arms, but nothing heavier. It was hard to drive, heavy, unstable, and had to stop to change gears. The design drew a lot of criticism and ridicule, but Bob Semple answered his critics by saying, I don't see anyone else coming up with any better ideas. Thankfully the Bob Semple tank wasn't called on to defend New Zealand, and only three tanks were built. However, one was actually deployed to the Pacific Theatre in 1944. The Bob Semple tank I'm printing is from Thingiverse, a free 3D file library. There are a few on here, but I'm using the one from Marco Bergman. It's part of his 1100 Tanks and Vehicles collection. Download the New Zealand produced AFV zip file and unpack it. There's a lot in here, including Beaverette armoured cars, local pattern tracked and wheeled carriers, and of course the Bob Semple tank. Not just one, but two variants. One is the standard Bob Semple and the other is one with a full armour suite installed. I've gone for the standard version. A quick trip through Cheetu Box to add supports, and then into Photon Workshop to slice the file ready for printing. Let the printing commence. Here's the finished product after printing, washing and curing. It seems to have come out okay. Once we get the supports off, the model is ready. The corrugations of the manganese armour came up really well. There is one issue. The rear of the right hand track is misshapen. I'm not sure what happened if it needed more support or there was an issue during printing. But otherwise, a nice result. Marco Bergman's file works great and has enough detail for a 15mm print. It isn't painted yet. This is just a grey undercoat followed by a Russian green base coat. I need a darker green for the camouflage pattern shown in the historical video. So, you asked for the Bob Semple tank, and here it is. I did have some discussions on Facebook about stats for this vehicle in Flames of War. Armour is proof against small arms, so maybe one all round. It has six machine guns, so probably a decent rate of fire. 
maybe six halted and four on the move. Remember, there's a gunner lying on the engine. His performance would have to be impacted on the go. It's slow and clumsy, so I'd go for a short tactical move and dash speed. Really short. Maybe four to six inches tactical. Slower than infantry. And the cross would be pretty high. It would have to be five or six, surely. Whatever the New Zealand troops' base training and morale might be, I would also give the sample a high remount value. If this thing was hit, I'd think twice before getting back in. I've printed one, and I don't plan to print any more. The file is fine, and it was fun to do, but I can't see myself running a full troop of these against a Japanese list at any point. Thanks to everyone who voted in the poll. After Bob Semple, I've printed the Bushmaster and the M113AS4. The first Bushmaster was a fail. Maybe we'll talk about what happened in a future video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.